Data Cake is now um, support for downlinks and how this looks and works this I'm going to show you in this video. So we take this um, small device here from Dragino as an example. This is an LHT65 and we use it quite often in areas where you need to monitor temperature. Some customers want um, temperature value every five minutes but some customers used to stick with the um, default settings which is um, every um, temperature sending every 20 minutes. So we thought of integrating downlinks directly into Data Cake. Um, this is the device um, which I'm having at home here and um, this is also using the new dashboard builder and there is in the upcoming release a section this is currently available so this is downlinks and here you can define custom um, downlink encoders. You can also use fields from your database to integrate them into your downlinks. So basically you have two options. The first is you set, um, like in this case, you return a byte array for the downlink, which is then uh, queued up on the Laravel network server and then sent to the device. And the other option in this case is a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more detailed. So um, you can um, define your own payload decode, uh, downlink decoder and um, use a database field. So in this case, I've created a database field which holds the configuration. It's the send interval. I can also um, set it here to like 300 seconds, for example, which is five minutes. And then under the um, downlink tab, you have the option here to configure and send the downlink. And it takes the values which are in the database field. But you could also override this here, which will then be forwarded into um, the database. So let's try this out. We save and send the downlink. You can see that it's now queued up. And in the um, debug tab, you can also um, reload it. Um, that you have it, it's sent the download. When, when there's an issue with um, queuing up the downlink on the Lorava network server, um, you will see the debug message here, but also like in this case, this is connected to, to um, Things Network. Um, it gets all the information it needs from the webhook. So once there is webhook forward from your sensors, all the um, data is populated um, automatically here. So you need you don't need to set up anything here. Um, okay, so um, this is how downlink works. You can define your own dynamic downlinks or static downlinks, like in this case here and you can access them here from um, the downlinks tab but in the next release with the new dashboard builder like in this case here this is the dashboard for one of these lh65s which is in my opinion looking pretty amazing um, even when you compare it to the old builder and um, we have some fancy features like um, yeah some animations and also what you can do here is you can um, add a slider and in that slider for example you can set the um, or select the message set interval in seconds and you save that and then you can yeah um, define the send interval from here and this is then also um, published here into the configuration takes one second to load this and when you send the downlink for example um, it's set to the way you you set here in this slider and there will also be a button so that you can directly um, send downlinks from your dashboards and configure them from your dashboards and so on so this makes it pretty easy of um, yeah, having integrations for lower band devices and sensors and downlink is something that makes it easy to configure those senders directly from data cake so you don't need to hook up your um, TTN, TDI console or L'Oreal um, to send um, downlinks from there you can do it completely on data cake with defining your own payload um, downlink encoders